When you speak Chinese, there are certain rules that should be considered. Among all these principles, we have selected three of the most important ones, which are 客气 (politeness), 含蓄 (implicit), and 谦虚 (humbleness). In this presentation, we will illustrate each of these principles with real-life examples. Another reason we choose these three rules is because they are unique in Chinese culture, which means in most of other cultures, people have、uh, quite different speaking manners. Through the comparison of different types of conversation, you may get a better understanding of Chinese speaking practices. Politeness, 客气 literally means an act of guest or act of courtesy. Also existing in other cultures, example saying please and thank you in English, only apply to outsiders or strangers. Common practice to maintain harmony in host and guest relationships. For instance, when you are having lunch or dinner with your friend in a restaurant, it is sometimes considered rude to pay separately, unless you have been longtime friends and need not to fight over it. It would be more polite to at least say, "Can I treat you for this lunch?" In return, the guest would probably answer no. It should be me who should be treating you for lunch, just to show some courtesy. It seems to be a common phenomenon in lunch or dinner occasion, whereby you and the guest will just fight over who would be paying. Largely due to the influence of 客气 after the fight, if the guest insists on paying, which you agree, you should return with some words like "Thank you for this lunch" and "Hey, it will be my treat next time," just to show some courtesy. <laughs> Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay, okay. Don't worry about it. Sure, sure. Okay, no problem. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on, come on, 来这里，家里上好的普洱茶，来来尝尝，谢谢尝尝尝尝尝尝。喝、嗯，这这是一点心意，哎、请您收下。你这太客气了，太客气了。呃，您收下，你不要这样，不要这样。呃，朋友，这这那那那,那我就恭敬不如从命了。以后有什么事就找我，就找我好吗？那么快就走了，那么快就走了，那我送你下楼啊。不用，不送不送。那下次再来玩，再见。好，拜拜拜拜，好。嗯，不错。不错，挺好。Um, can you tell me why didn't you accept the gift at first? Actually, uh, in my mind, I really want to take it, but、uh, in Chinese culture and tradition, it's not really appropriate to receive the gift immediately. However, you should reject it at first, and then to show your manner or your polite. So basically, that's the reason why I don't. Why I don't re- receive it imme- immediately? Why didn't you unwrap the gift in front of him?、Uh, in Chinese tradition, it's not really polite to open the gift in front of someone. You should、uh, open it after he leaves or in another room to show your polite and、uh, respect to him. Okay, thank you. Hi, please come in. This is my new apartment. Hey, Victor, I have a gift for you. Oh, thank you. What is it? Oh my God, it's a MacBook. And a power beat. I always wanted one of those. Okay,、uh, I'm gonna take it to my room.、Um, in America, we open the gift in front of the person who gave it to us because we really care about. We want to show them how much we love the gift and how much we care about、um, their dedication to us.、Um, that's why we open it, and、um, we show our appreciation by saying thank you. Chinese people prefer an indirect way of communication in order to avoid losing face. Especially when you're asking for help or letting others do things for you. For example, if you ask for help but the person you're asking cannot offer the help, then it will cause an embarrassment, which rarely occurs in a Chinese conversation. Instead of asking directly, Chinese people would like to 
imply their intention by saying something else, as long as the listener is still able to understand what they need or what their request is. This way, listeners do not need to say no if they can't offer the help. 最近怎么样？最近最近还挺烦心的。这过两天要去 Universal Studio， 现在还没找到 ride。如果要赶公车的话，要赶一个小时四十多分钟。这天气又热，哎，讨厌死！你刚好我有车，你要借吗？这这好吗？没问题，没问题吗？你确定？确定。那那就谢谢你了。没事。哎，谢谢。Actually, my true intention is to borrow the car. Instead of complaining about the inconvenience of taking a bus, uh, indeed, this is a really common way in China for us to ask for help indirectly. So if I ask for it directly, there will be a possibility for him to reject me, which is a face threatening situation for both of us. So if I let him, so if I imply my true intention to him and let him to give me the offer. That would be less awkward and embarrassing for both of us. Hey, I want to go to Universal Studio. Can I take your car? Sure, take it. The roots of humbleness go way back in Chinese culture to Confucius. There's a famous saying by Confucius we mentioned in class: "Zhuzi yu ne yuan er mi yu xing," meaning gentlemen do not talk a lot, but they take actions. Since then. Modesty is considered to be an important virtue throughout the entire Chinese history. In China today, being humble is still an encouraged and expected behavior. Chinese people are taught to be humble and to avoid bragging. Chinese school children all learn the saying by Chairman Mao, "谦虚使人进步，骄傲使人落后 which means being humble makes people improve, and being arrogant causes one to fall behind. Therefore. Showing humility and modesty is something you really need to be careful in Chinese speaking practice if you want to act like a gentleman when speaking in front of other people. Hello, man. What's up? How's it going, man? I'm good. How are you? Good.、Uh, how did you do on your quiz? Ah,、uh, I messed it up. I didn't do well. Oh, really? How about you? I did pretty well, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. What you got, man? I got ninety-eight percent. How's that a fail? If I tell people that I got a high score, people would be thinking that I'm showing off. So、uh, in Chinese culture, people are always humble, even though they got a high score, like a hundred percent. They would always be like,、uh, I didn't do well because everybody could do this.